I was very much involved in working on myself through therapeutic processes because I was in so much pain and suffering which my path had been a psychiatric nurse and I ended up at Esalen Institute doing Gestalt work and Jungian work and I'd been in Freudian analysis and I was very moved by the whole connection and Gestalt work between what I was feeling and thinking and my body and I was looking for a body-oriented therapist and someone suggested Hamid Ali and so I initially went to Hamid as a Reikian therapist. I did not go to him as a spiritual teacher. And my initial work with him was pretty much traditional Reikian therapy. I would be lying there breathing, going through all kinds of feeling experiences. And then over time, I'd say in about a year and a half time, he started asking me questions nobody had ever asked me. It would be questions like, I'd be lying there breathing, and he'd go, what are you experiencing in your chest? And I'd go, nothing. And most anybody else I'd ever worked with would say, would go to the something or have me breathe more so I'd have something to report. And he said, what is the nothing like? And I was like, now I'm about 27, 28 years old. And I said, what do you, you know, I'd, I'd driven, paying him all this money to tell him what's nothing's like. I said, you know, what do you mean, what's nothing like? And, you know, these are etched in my mind. Well, is it a light nothing or a dark nothing? And I remember just being stopped that my usual way of processing and approaching myself was just, I was just like stopped. And there was something in the sincerity of his asking and his actual curiosity that I actually remember clearly turning my awareness to actually reflect on his question. Like, what was the nothing like? And, you know, it, it opened up this whole thing because the nothing ended up being this door into a deeper place in my soul than anything in psychology uh, could ever touch. The tendency to want to split away the negative and just kind of dismiss the ego states. And Hamid's really his great gift and the gift of this work has been that to actually not split away any difficult feeling, whether it be hatred, despair, pointlessness, greed, I don't care what it is, desire, sexuality, whatever, that all of those expressions are a reflection of reality, of true nature, of God, of spirit, and that they come out in a kind of narrowed down way through our history and we get to backtrack through that.